last practice of the day, um, we're going to focus on that thing that's called transition. So what, what does transition mean to you? If we, if we talk about a change. Yeah, changing it. Yeah, so it might be you've gone from having the ball to not having it, or the other way around. Yeah, so the ball's changing hands. It's a big word, but it, it, it's, uh, it's really something that happens quite often in the game, really often in the game, in fact. And what we're trying to encourage is, or certainly when, when our coaches are working with their players, is we try and encourage or include elements of this transition in all practices. And I'm going to focus on one part of that transition, and that is counter-attacking. So what, what's counter-attacking mean to, to you guys? Yeah. Okay, so what was the key word there? That quickly, quickly good. So how, if we're talking about a counter attack, um, what? How many sort of passes do we would, would, you, would you normally say that if it's a quick attack? What would be? Two, two, two three. three. Yeah. Okay. So let's use that to our advantage Not then. Many. Not many. That's probably a better answer, isn't it? Um, I, I'm going to frame this for under nines. Okay, nines, tens. And we are, they play, what, what format do those guys play? 7v7. Seven. Seven seven. Yeah, mini soccer. So we've got the mini soccer goals there, and we've got a squad of eight players. So we'll end up playing often 4v4 in training. Okay, so I'm going to frame, try and break everything down to, to what we do in the game. We play, so 7v7, seven seven, these boys play with a 2-3-1 um, formation. So two defenders, so one, two, three, one. One goalkeeper, two defenders three midfielders and one forward, all right? And all I'm doing for this practice is taking the two wide midfielders out. And for that reason, can you see the pitch that I've set up? Yeah, so what is it? What are we playing in as far as the big pitch goes? We're playing the 18-yard box, aren't we? So we're playing longish and thinnish, yeah? So if I'm looking at counter-attacking, how will that pitch size and shape maybe help help you to do more yeah, counter-attacking. Think about going forward more as opposed to playing it on two sides. Yeah, good. So it's going to it's gonna kind of force you to go forward, isn't it, rather than always taking that easy option of, easier sometimes option of going wide. Good. Um, who likes cooking? Because I do. I don't like cooking. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm really good at spoiling things <laughs> in the kitchen, but I don't mind that. Um, what's the difference between a cook and a chef? Okay, okay, chef's professional, yeah. What else? Good answer. Maybe, yeah. So, yeah, good, I like that. I, 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 in, in the kitchen, I'm trying to become a chef, right? Which means um, I'm trying to escape from just preset recipes that I know will work to thinking about more, right? What, what do I want out of the end of it and what ingredients can I get to make that end thing? Rather than just going, right, I'll just take this off the shelf today and serve that up and it's done. The, the recipes are fine, but what, what I'm trying to say is, in coaching, we're trying to get coaches to shift from cooks, good cooks, to become chefs. So I'm trying to get you to think about, right, what, what are the ingredients? So I've got counter-attacking is, is my end product. What are my ingredients that I want to take that's going to help my players to get some counter-attacking out? So can you see how... Those ingredients now, so far, as in the pitch size and shape, um, the number and compared to what we, w what we play with at a weekend, that might start to help us bring some counter-attacking. I'm going to take your point as well that you said about two or three passes or a few passes. So we're going to start with just an open game. So the recipe for this practice is, um, is on the Vimeo page. I don't know if you've, we've sent it out yet, but we'll give you a link to loads of practices off the course. The practice is called uh, 1v2, 3v2, okay? And I, I can highlight that to you when we go inside, but I'm just going to start with an open game. And if we need to, we'll come back towards that game. But I'm going to try and get as much of counter-attacking as I can out through just as, as close to an open game as I can, right? Um, so in a moment, we'll need 4v4. The Reds will defend that goal there. The Blues will defend that goal there. Um, you'll, you'll have one goalkeeper, two defenders or two players further back and one forward for each team, okay? The, we'll have no corners or throw-ins, so every time the ball goes out of play, I'm going to restart by playing the ball out to one of the goalkeepers. Why do you think I might do that? So fair would be, yeah, fair is important to me. Do you want to start from 
Possibly, yeah. Counterattacks sometimes start from the back, don't they? What were you going to say, son? It might be quicker, yeah. Yeah, because often you'll see a kid, a ball run off the sideline, don't they? And they, they go running and 10 minutes later we get back in play. So I want the game to go quick. It'll give players a chance to look around and see where they are on the pitch and get back in the main position. Yeah, good. Okay. The other thing is, we plan for stuff and sometimes we forget about them poor keepers. So I want to make sure that my keepers get loads of goes at, um, at, at receiving the ball and playing out. Okay? Yep. Right. So in a moment, get yourselves into two teams and bib up. Um, whoever ends up playing in goal, I've set you an area, a penalty area up. That's the orange cones. That penalty area is roughly the same size as the mini soccer area on a weekend. Important for our players to take that to, from practice to match. So what I'm going to say is whoever plays in goal, whenever you get the ball, try and get yourself out to the edge of the area as quickly as you can before you release the ball. <coughs> you can release however you want. You can throw it over arm, under arm, you drop it and kick it. It's up to you. All right, let's get set up. Whoever's not playing, come and stay with me on the side. You're going to be my parents. Really? <laughs> not literally, yeah. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Yeah, yeah. The game is open, but I'm going to put one condition on the game. If you can score within three passes or five seconds of winning the ball back, it's a double goal. Okay? So within three passes or five seconds, whichever one, when you win the ball back, the goal counts double. Okay, can you keep score, keep score of Blues? So you, one of your, your daughter plays for the blue team, so you've got vested interest there. Can you keep score from Reds? Yeah. And can you keep an eye on the, the kind of clock and passes thing? Yeah, is that all right? So I can, con I, you, you're my parents, I've got you supporting the game. I can concentrate on feeding back and helping the players. Ready? Yep, let's go then. You don't have to. Try to if you can. There might be times when you have, it's relevant to play it from further back. Go on then. And the ball's gone out of play. So we'll start down here with Blues. Off we go. Gone out, here you go, play from Reds. Oh, almost, would that have been a double goal? It would have been a double goal. Off we go, play from Blues down there. Here you go. Well played for passing first time. That's all right, it's gone out, but the first time idea was good. Play from Blues. Oh, we're in, we're in. Oh, I love that one-time pass. Good try, keep going. It's a bad decision from the ref. Carry on. Oh, okay, rest there, come in. Walk in. Are we counting that or not? Yeah, <laughs> you're, the red, you're the red parent. <laughs> We've played the open game. How many opportunities have we had to, to counter-attack? Quite a few. Yeah, have we had much success yet? Well, we've had a couple of shot and goal or two, haven't we? Yeah, and, and that's to be expected in the game, isn't it? Because often when we plan for stuff, they might do loads of, loads of it in, in isolation. But when we try and put it back in the game, it doesn't always go to plan, does it? But we've got a bit. Did the rules help yeah. to, to bring it back? Okay. Right, I'm going to change, change the rules a little bit more now. So we're going to start um, with this sort of picture here. So let me just turn that around. Blues were defending that goal, weren't they? Yep. So... 
Blues defend that goal. You're going to have two defenders against one red forward. And you'll notice that there's a red strip in the middle. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a safe zone for the moment. I'll explain more about that as we go on. Down this end, we're going to have goalkeeper for reds plus two red defenders and a blue forward shooting against them. Okay? Um, only, only the forwards of the team in possession can drop back into this zone here. So let's say blues have got the ball. This blue forward can come in here, but the red defenders can't follow her in. Got it? Yeah. So she can come in and receive and go and take them on. If these guys win the ball, what might happen then? Well, the, yeah, so this forward can come in here, but these defenders are locked in this zone. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Should we give it a go? Yeah. All right. So just one little bit of football stuff. What was the things that I was praising mainly in that last game? What, there, was, there was two things that I praised the players for specifically, and it was... Sorry? Good. A first-time pass. Yeah, so think about that. If you get the ball, can you spot the opportunity to play forwards quickly? Because that's going to help us to counter-attack. Ready? Let's go Reds, play. Okay, play from Blues. Go on, play on. Play from Blues again. Can you play on one touch? Good, good, there we go. Go and attack. Oh, off we go, go on. Well played. Oh. Well, it, can I be honest with you? I, well, that was the idea, but seeing as you've taken it on, I'm quite comfortable to let it go. So I had an idea of what the game was going to look like, but you've carried on in there. I'm, I'm all right with that. So if you want to carry on and make a 2v2, that's absolutely fine. Got it? But you've got to stay in there. Well, that was the idea, but now that we've changed it, I'm happy to let it go. So we'll start with the red, red goalkeeper. Let's go. Can you play forwards? Good. You can't go in there yet. That's safe. Off we go. Correct. All right, start from Blues. Have a new ball, start with reds down there. I might get a goal yet. Good touch. Play on, play on. Okay, play fair from blues. Have a look, what can you see? Oh, I love it! Look at that! Can we score? Oh! What a piece of skill! Right, why do I like that so much? What did she do that really, uh, really gets me excited as the coach on the sideline? Take her on, she's been nice and positive. Yeah? And that's what we want if we want our players to be, uh, to be good at counter-attacking. We want them to be positive and go forward. So well done. Okay? Play Reds. Oh, I love it. Oh. Oh, it's gone in. Brilliant. Was that within three passes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so two goals, right? When you play the ball, think about if you were here, where would you want to receive it? To try and give it a pass that's going to help us to play for. Yeah, off we go. Are we all right? We're in. Oh, just freeze there. So we want to go to the white line on this side here. Yeah, there you go. Remember that edge of the area if you can. And freeze there a sec, freeze there a sec. So remember, when the attacking team have got the ball, who's the only, who's the only players that's allowed in this safe zone? So see this red strip here that we're stood in? That's it, so back you go. So, no, well, it's, a, it's between these two sets of red spots. 
If we're yeah. attacking, then I'm allowed So reds can come in here, but they're locked in there. Okay. Got it? Now, you don't have to. If you wanted to, and you fancied your chances, you could stay up here and receive the ball and go and attack. But if you want to drop in, yeah, you can play in. And like you did before, you can go up and support if you wanted to. But you would be locked. You would be locked in this zone until your team wins the ball back. Okay, so let's just start back from the goalkeeper. And off we go. You can use your area, remember, good. Oh, try again. Have another go. Okay, and right, yeah. So I saw you spot up here. I like that. So you don't have to. No, not at all. <laughs> well, you can throw it straight into this safe zone if you want. So as soon as you get it, if you get out, that's why I've said get out to the edge of the area because you might well reach from there, but maybe not from the goal line. Just don't let it bounce over me. Yeah. Okay, so you've got one, two, three options. <laughs> Off you go. Good, good. Love that. And great running, Nikki. Love it. Good try. Ooh, let's start from blue goalkeeper. Here you go. Can you save it? Off you go. Love it, well done. Carry on, carry on. Good, love, good try, well played. Off you go. Well played, you two. I just want to pause you there and highlight a few things that I've noticed that have been really good. Okay, one is, just remind me of your name again, Anna. Every time Anna gets the ball out here, especially from her goalkeeper, what's she trying to do with her first touch? Play forward. So she's opening her body up really well and trying to play forward. Sometimes with a first touch, sometimes with a pass. That's great. That's positive. Okay, just like we saw from you. Nikki, the last two or three times that your teammates had the ball up here, you've done something brilliant that's, for, that's helped us to counter-attack. Do you know what it was? Yeah, you've tried to get ahead of the ball. All right, so let's think about it. When our team's got the ball, can we play forwards on our first touch? And if we don't have the ball, but our teammates do, can we try and get past them? Okay, and attack quickly. Ready? Off you go. I'll get out of your way now. Good, Nicky. Nice running. Oh, try again. Start from red goalkeeper again. Did you have to play backwards then, or could you have been positive and gone forwards? Yeah, go on then. Play. Go on, going forward. Well done. Love it. Go on, get ahead of her. Well played. Be ready, be ready, because if it comes, you're in. Can you get it? Can you get it? Oh, well played. Can you get ahead of her? Love it, Blues. Oh, okay. Good try. Great. Who played the pass into the forwards? Was it yourself? Great pass in, nice and firm. Great running ahead of her, yeah? Remember, when, um, when Blues get the ball, you're locked out of this middle zone as a defender, okay? So only Blues can go in there. Let's start with Blue goalkeeper. I'm all over the place. Play. Nice pass. Ooh, off you go then. Go on, can you get ahead? Go on then. Good touch. Love it, great running. Start from here, yep. I'm doing more miles than the players. It's all right, I'm used to it. Good, remember that middle zone if you need it. Well done. Love it. Can you get past there? Go on then, Blues. Drop back, Nicky. Out of that zone, well done. Well played. Where's our red forward? Can we go quickly, use your area? Oh, look at that. Off we go, Blues. Oh, the no-look pass, love it. Play. Be ready, blue forward, be ready, because if this comes, you've got it. 
You all right? Yeah. Start a blue goalkeeper, off you go. Right, freeze there, freeze there. So, remember what I said about the goalkeepers, every time you receive it, can you get to the, if you go to the edge of the box, guess what these two are gonna do? They're gonna move up as well, and it's gonna help us attack. Off you go. <laughs> play on, play on. Good. Oh. Oh, I've gone then, we'll let it go. Referee didn't quite see that back pass. What does she need? Good, Nikki, good. What are we looking for? We're in, off you go. Oh, love it, brilliant. Well played, okay, come and have a rest. <laughs> Pair up. And what I'd like you to discuss uh, just for a few minutes is um, what did you like about the practice? Uh, what made you think? And um, what might you have changed in the practice? Or how would it relate to your players that you work with? Because I've framed that for sort of nines or tens, but it might not be relevant for your players. Okay? So just discuss those few things with a partner for a few minutes, come back and take some feedback. So give us your ideas, give us your, your, your discussion highlights. Yeah. Yeah, good. Absolutely. So would you go then with the so remember what I said I've got a squad of eight. <laughs> so we're for seven aside, so we have one sub. So would you go then what what one 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 or something? Or how would you change that formation out if you were gonna put a midfielder in? What would you do to the numbers? Yeah, so you've got eight players. That's it. Um, potentially you might do, yeah. Yeah. Could do. Okay, what what were you guys? I heard some stuff about the the two defenders or one defender. Or... Yeah, I was saying you could like you could potentially have one defender so it becomes a one v one at the, at yeah. the back. Yeah, because you would. Because it can be like really daunting, to, especially if players aren't as strong. Yeah. If you turn and then you've got two coming towards you. You, know, like... you you were up against it there, weren't you? One v one v two. Why why do you think I was quite keen to have that one v two up there? Because I know you had, although you had your safe zone. You, you you had to go and take them on at some point, didn't you? Yeah. So why 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 am I thinking? Because you might be in that situation and it's not a game. You might have two people if you if you've gone back into the penalty and you run up and you get past the ball. Yeah. Ne ne next time you watch a game, whether it be your own teams or you know the Premier League or whatever, just start taking some mental snapshots of of the numbers when the ball gets closer to the op opponent's goal. Very rarely. Will the attackers outnumber the defenders? Most of the time, it's the other way around. Traditionally, in our practices, we've tried to, when we're working on something that is when our team have the ball, we've we've often kind of served up success on a plate and made things easy so that we, as the coach, maybe look good or our practices work. But when when they go into the real game, that's the picture that you'll that's often why I'm see. Playing it back more. Yeah. Under that Absolutely. Like, I don't feel confident sometimes taking on no. one player, never mind two. Yeah. So I had the easy option of passing it back, but then that gave me a chance to find the space for it to pass forward. Again, so. and, and as your coach, I would have to recognise that that's your preferred way of playing and maybe try and help you to carry on with that, help your teammates to recognise that and try and push you on in different ways. Because um, that's what, what it's about, isn't it? It's about knowing your players and trying to help them to get better at it. What, what were you, your guys' thoughts? We were just saying, like, maybe adding more players, but obviously... Yeah, but you... So do you get more than eight players to train in? Yeah. Yeah, how many do you get? Sometimes ten. Sometimes ten. Yeah. Yeah, so that could... Uh, what formation do you play normally? Or what, what format of football? Let me think. Is it 7v7? Seven 5v5. Seven? Five 5v5? Five. Five five. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So you actually got the opportunity there to do it as a match, as, yeah. a, as a frame match, haven't you? So it might look something... Um, well, one, one more player per team there. 2-2. Two, two. Is a common formation? Yeah. Two one one. Yeah. Okay. Thoughts here? Thoughts from you two guys? Uh, we were just saying about the middle bit. We were a bit confused. Yeah. It's of a younger age. Yeah, so what do you think? Go on, sorry. Yeah. And it'd be, you know, they're attention span maybe. The younger ones. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah, good spot. So what do you think my purpose was? What was my reason for having that middle zone in? 
given that I was trying to help you to get better at counter-attacking. Because sometimes like, you can hold team, they'll push back towards the goal if they've lost the ball and it's in the other team's possession. You, you seem to all run back to try and defend, so it helped, helped you like, have that one player. Yeah. So, so if those two defenders that were on you, if they can follow you anywhere, I, I don't reckon I, I th you'd be up against it. Yeah. So I'm trying to balance off, um, giving you half a chance to get it and get the likes of Nicky to go and get past you yeah. so we get some success, but without making it too un unrealistic. So I wanted that zone f for that reason. But I wanted to keep you playing one versus two because what's probably a main ingredient that we need for counter-attacking? Well, yeah, but, but wind it back a little bit. What needs to happen before all that? What, what happens to the ball? Yeah, the ball's got to change hands, hasn't it? So if you're one versus two, the likelihood is what? Who's going to get it? Well, actually, with the keeper, you're one versus three. So the likelihood is that the ball's going to change hands when it gets to you. Now, if it's changing hands over here, what have, we, what have the... You were the reds, weren't you? What have the blues now got ahead of them? A lot of space, yeah. The pitch is going to encourage them to go forwards. They've got an option to play in that safe zone. They don't have to take it, but they've got an option to. And they've probably got, if they get that pass off quickly, well, they've got a 1v1. And if they can get numbers ahead then, they're going to start creating 2v1 and what have you. Yeah. So I think you guys mentioned that, the, were you saying that the game flowed back and forwards quite a lot? Yeah. yeah. Well, I want that from, from counter-attack. If I was working on something else, like keeping possession or you know slow build-up play, then I'm, I might not want my practice to do that. But if I want counter-attacking, I'm probably going to want that back and forward. Did you guys come up with anything else? It's the same, more numbers, and then obviously the, the middle channel, it's much the same. Yeah, yeah. Else, so. Yeah, good. Anything different? Yeah. I was just saying, basically, I like the way that the attacker to stay there because I find my girls that follow the ball. Yeah. yeah. So like teaching them that like obviously if you're a you need to stay up there, you can't be back here because yeah. when they get the ball, where are we going to pass it to when you get it up to? Yeah. But so I like that they have to stay there because that would I could use that to teach them like stay up there and we'll, we'll get it to you. And sometimes you might have to restrict them zones off to help them to, to learn the game.